Hey, welcome back to another Craig's Home Brew Review, and today I'm triple fisted. Yeah, I got three beers from all the way from Norway. Um, fellow by the name of Ole and his friend Paul, um, I think they brewed all these together. I can't remember. I'm only going to do one today. Actually, I might do two. The third one I think I'm going to do during my cast live. So the one I'm going to do today is Pedro the Welder. That's the first one they talk about on their little sheet here. I have to show you this because I'll tell you, this little piece of paper has been through a lot. They sent it and um, it ended up in my, in my, um, in my, my keyser, you know, with the beers, so I didn't lose it. And it fell down into the bottom and kind of got, you know, a little bit. I'll show you, you know, hey, it looks like a beer paper. Look at that. That's tie-dye. That's what you call tie-dye, beer tie-dye. Anyway, <laughs> so um, this beer is Pedro the Welder. They said that I'd be familiar with it because I have made it before. So not a lot of description here, just give it a whirl. Um, all the way from Norway. Okay, Ole and Paul, thank you guys. Let's give this a, let's give this a go. Let's see if it says anything on the bottle first. Maybe I'll take a picture of this and put it on the screen because it's really small. Okay, so let's give this a whirl. These have been in my fridge for quite a long time. Now, um, this was kegged, I believe, so he, kegged, he bottled it from the keg, so it's possible that it might be a little bit undercarbonated. Oh boy. I love drinking other people's home brews. And I know I have a lot of emails to answer, the people who want to send them, and I apologize for not getting to those. I do lag on my email a lot. Always have. So, I couldn't find a smaller glass than this, actually, so it doesn't really look that great presentation-wise, but... Beautiful hop aroma. Nice biscuity aroma. Not much of a sniffer. Let's get into it. Cheers. Oh, that's good. That is, I believe this is an all grain beer, by the way. And it has a lot of flavor, a little bit of a spiciness to it. A great hop, great hop balance. It's got that nice sort of bitterness, a little bit of sweetness. Slight caramelly kind of sweetness and a nice sort of a, a comfortable, sharp, comfortable hop um, aroma on the top. And um, very, very nice, guys. So it looks to me like I'm going to be in for a bit of a treat with the other two of these beers. But I'll do one more after this. Uh, very, very nice stuff. Mmm. I love the hops. You know, I have to disclaim, I'm not a beer reviewer. I never proclaim to be one. I do not have the vocabulary for one, but I love tasting other people's beers. And a really, really nice round flavor in this. Just enough bitterness, just enough sweetness in there. You can see the, the uh, color of that. I, I mean, it's, it's gonna be cloudy because it's chill haze. It's been in the fridge forever, but there's the color. It deserved it. <laughs> hey, congratulations, guys. You're brewing, brewing great beers. Um, so I'm going to finish this and wait a little while, and then I'll do the second one. Of course, you guys will see them both in a row. So thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see you in a few, few seconds. Cheers. All right. Well, now that I've recovered from that, because I'm such a lightweight, um, <laughs> I will get into the next one here. This is a Fire and Smoke. A little bit of a description to this, using peated malt, um, experimental, using peated malt um, all the way through the grain, the base grain, and I guess some chocolate malt added too. But I'll put it on the screen from this wonderful tie-dye paper that I have here so that I don't have to read it to you and you can check it out for yourself. The ingredients are on here. I'll try to take a picture of this and put it on the screen. These did get wet and they're a little wrinkly, so it's still a little hard to read, but let's see what we've got. Woo! Now that. Now I'm gonna be honest with you right now. I'm gonna be honest. That smells like a band aid. 
That's interesting. That's not, not bad. It just has a, a sort of a Band-Aid aroma to it. Crazy. All right. Well, this is very interesting. This is an experiment, remember, so it might... Who knows what it's going to taste like. There we are. Nice little bottles. Stick one of those in your breast pocket when you go on a beach with some booze in it. Um, same thing here. We got the color. Take a look at it for you. Okay, yeah, that's not looking too bad. A little bit of a sort of a golden honey color there. And yes, it's very interesting. I'm not saying, I'm not trying to say this, to, it's a bad thing. It just gives that, you know, that sort of, when you open a box of Band-Aids, it smells like that. So it's interesting. It's got a slightly piney kind of pine. Yeah, a little bit of a piney kind of flavor, aroma to it. So let's get into it. Nice little head on it there too. Cheers. Thanks guys, again. Yes, it does retain that, um, that piney kind of band-aid-ish flavor, um, but it's good. It has a nice hop presence. Yeah, it's not bad. It's not bad. I prefer the other one that, that we did earlier um, over this, but again, this was an experiment and um, you know, um, you read the, the little sheet there. Um, it's quite good. It's warmed up a little bit because I actually left it out and I forgot to put it back, but it's, it's a little bit warmer than, than the other one was as well. So we're going to get a little bit more fullness and flavor out of it there. But um, let me see what else I can get out of it here. I'm not a beer reviewer, okay? I'm just, just a guy. Okay, here we go. It's pretty mild. It's pretty unobtrusive. I said something about hops earlier, but it doesn't really have a lot of hop presence. Although if it did, it seemed like that would be covered up with that, that flavor that I just described. Um, and it's a good beer. It's a very nice beer. I, I like it. Something that you could, uh, you could brew up. It, it wouldn't, it wouldn't be my go-to beer. And I'm just, I'm just being honest. The other beer that we just did earlier, which was, where is it? Not that one, but the, this one over here, this uh, Pedro the Welder. This could be an award-winning beer. This was fantastic. Um, I would drink this all day, all week, all year, for that matter. Good stuff. So out of the two, I prefer the first one, but there's nothing wrong with this. It's just different. It's got a, a flavor that I've never experienced before in beer. And, you know, it's certainly very, very drinkable. And I'm going to finish this up. And I appreciate you watching. Please thumb up the video if you like it. Please put it on Facebook and Twitter and wherever else you, you happen to hang out. And subscribe if you haven't. And I'll see you real soon. Thanks, guys. Cheers. 17.